What's going on guys, Rafi right here, and excuse me if I'm my voice or anything sounds a little bit weird, it's just that I've been having a super major runny nose uh, allergies, you know, like when you live in Florida, you're going to get a bunch of allergies, so that's what's going to happen. Uh, but today we're going to be installing the tailgate letters uh, for the Ford Maverick. I got it through the uh, Ford accessory website. This is the part number right here, guys, so you guys can see it and got it through there. And I got it with my reward point. I had 42,000 points in my account when I bought the truck. And I used about 113, uh, well, they came out to $113. They're $99 for these tailgate letters right here. And after that, after using this, I still have $96 uh, left to use in my account. So that kind of give you a, uh, an idea of how many points you get. Initially, you get 210 points uh, when you buy the car, uh, the truck, and that equates to, you know, that amount basically. So uh, we're gonna get them out. We're gonna actually clean the back part of the truck and then let's install them, see what they look like, you know, install and how easy it is to install. And we're gonna take a look at the material as well. So. If you're new to my channel, you know, I do a lot of tech reviews, sneaker reviews, and travel videos, but I'll be doing a lot more videos regarding the uh, Ford Maverick, which is the one that I have back here. I got the uh, 2.0 EcoBoost Turbo 4x4, they're all wheel drive, and the uh, FX4 package in this orange uh, yellow color. So let's get on with it. All right, so what we're gonna do is actually open the box. Like I said, that's the part number where they came in. Let's take a look at this right here. And I got this through my Ford dealer, a different dealer, not the one that I got my uh, Ford from, because I don't know, they sometimes don't know, don't know what the hell they're doing. So i um, just called another dealer and I ordered it and it was fine. No problems. That's my other dealer when I ordered them. They're like, oh, I don't know how to add them to the system. I don't know how to order them. There seems to be that the system is not working. Or maybe the guy doesn't know how to do anything over there. So, whoops, that is one. Put them right here. So, it comes to this white cover here in the front. And I'm guessing the red is the, uh, yeah, uh -huh, and the red is the uh, 3N adhesive. Right at the back, we get to see that the, uh, hey, look very, like, stained. There's a lot of, like, grease stain and things like that on them. We got the white. Uh, plastic covering them up right here and in the back we have the actual adhesive 3m tape so that's what we're going to do we're going to remove both the adhesive tape and the front so we can expose them put them up and like i said we're going to clean the actual truck so we can actually attach them and we're going to put some alcohol so they can actually the space will be clean and they get it here pretty good so let's go and then the other thing that comes in the package is instructions it kind of lets you know what they are and kind of some of the tool requirements, you know, rubbing alcohol, clean towels, and then step by step on how to actually apply them. They come in different languages. This is in English. Then we have also in Spanish, in Espanol también, the ones back here. And also we have them in French right here. So those of you that still speak French, that, the Spanish version, in Espanol and the English. So it's pretty much all the same thing and that's all you get. And they are from Putco. So they are the company that makes them. Perfect. All right, so the first thing that you guys wanna do is actually clean the area. You can use water and soap and you clean the area very good. We're going to install them. Make sure you go inside the actual letters and clean very good. Like I said, water and soap in the bucket. And then what you can use, any type of alcohol. I got this 70% uh, alcohol wipes that I'm using. And I uh, will go over the actual letters so they actually stay clean. And when I put the adhesive uh, tape, I will actually go in and make a good adhesion there. So, one to the letters, K. Okay. C, I, 
and then you let it dry for a little bit and then we're gonna try to attempt to add the letters so let's go all right so what i'm doing now is actually removing the white plastic uh cover from each letter and then once i do that i can see uh the material that's behind it which is a shiny um metal like a black shiny metal and some of them come already like stained they have like a few spots that are stained some of them are better uh, i was trying to paint them in red but the bad thing is that if i paint them and i wait for them to dry even if i wait for them to dry the paint is i have to put pressure in them to actually adhere to the you know to the metal um it will damage also the touch uh painted surface so decided not to paint them just going to keep them like that to see how they look while we're peeling the uh, plastic out of all the letters right here. so let's continue let me see if i can show you guys right here how i can peel this one out let's see just peel it like on the side and then kind of like pull back I don't know if you guys can see the shiny metal behind it. Let's see here. And then keep pulling all this stuff back. So this is the shiny metal behind it. Like I said, they are stains already. I don't know if you guys can notice those stains in some of the metal. Some of the other part are nice, very good. Uh, but in some of the other areas, you can see some stain. And trying to clean it with a cherry cloth right here, but they don't seem to be going away, those stains already. There's a stain also in the middle, because I don't think this is a stainless uh, steel um, metal. This is just a type of metal. All right, so we removed the white part sticker from each of the letters. I'm just gonna go over one more time with the alcohol uh, around it. I'm going to put it right here so we can try and add now the uh, letters. I'm going to do a little bit more alcohol on the letters right over here. And then I'm going to try to apply it right here. So let's see how that goes. This is the one that is stained the most right here you guys can see right here there's so many like stains on the letter k right here uh how you might be able to see just like there you go but what can we do right the corners are a little bit stained as well it's like a like a dot it's like a spot that it won't come out multiple spots So I guess that was the uh, end of it of the video installing the lettering uh, Maverick and the Ford. So if you like this video and you find this video helpful, make sure you hit that like. And also don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this, which I will be posting very soon more videos 
like this. So I'm gonna be talking about the Turner cover right here. I'll be talking about putting some bar lights in the back and also replacing the sound system on this truck right here. And kind of give you a review. Let me know if you wanna see a full review of the whole truck. But until then, I will see you guys. So remember, uh, you can follow me on social media at Rafi underscore red. And this is Rafi Red, signing out.